if the Jags could just do the damn job. If the Jags could just potentially have done their damn job, right now, Pittsburgh would not be in the playoffs. The Jags would have lost earlier, sorry, won earlier today. Instead of losing and choking the season away for themselves, Buffalo took care of their side of the bargain and they went ahead and won. You did not know in order for Pittsburgh not to make the playoffs, they needed the Titans to lose and the Bills to lose also. They needed the Titans and the Bills to lose. And after the Jags choked away a one yard away from scoring and tying a game and then proceeding to going for it on fourth and two at the end of the game and throwing the ball away on back-to-back downs. Pittsburgh's in the playoffs. Now, you might say, oh, come on, man. You're just complaining because the Bengals didn't make it and the Steelers are in and you're just upset. You're living rent-free. No. Here's the thing, right? I'm not going to complain the Cleveland Browns made the playoffs. I'm not going to complain the Baltimore Ravens made the playoffs. The reason why I'm complaining that the Pittsburgh Steelers made the playoffs is because I'm streaming every single playoff game for the playoffs. And I had this stream that Ravens versus Steelers game. And... If you don't know how painful that game was to watch the whole entire game, you probably didn't. You probably watched half of it and said, oh, this game is trash. I'm not watching it. Because unlike the Bengals today, when we put a team of backups, we put up 31 on them. Instead, with the Steelers-Ravens game, the Steelers put up 17 because of a crazy one-play tutty. Other than that, they put up 10 points. In four quarters versus the Ravens backup squad. At least we put up 31, okay? At least we did our job. Now we have to watch that team get to the playoffs and actually do something in the playoffs. And I full-heartedly think the Seals are going to lose in the first round. But they're going to do it in the most painful freaking way possible. Which is going to be a 74-like minute torture fest. So, Josh Allen beat Miami. Now, Josh Allen and the Bills are number two seed. How is that even possible, bro? If we tried to look at this year and see how anything was possible, we would go crazy and lose our hair. The Bills are number two seed in the NFL. Josh Allen, 359 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Josh Allen led the team in rushing. Josh Allen threw the ball a lot to the rookie, Kahir Shakir, 105 yards. Stephon Diggs, 87 yards. Trent Sherlin, one touchdown. Dalton Knox, one touchdown. By the way, shout out to the fact that um, Stephon Diggs has not caught a touchdown since November 26. Now, I know Jamar Chase hasn't caught a touchdown in a little bit of time either. But that is crazy. I saw the stat yesterday about that. So since November 26, he's had 24 yards, 48 yards, 29 yards, 26 yards, and 87 yards. Which, since November 26, which when they started, they lost against the Eagles, right? They started their, like, spree of winning games after November 26. So they won all these games, right? The games that they won, Stephon Diggs was not involved in. The games that they lost throughout the season, he was very much involved in. But they beat the Chiefs, 24 yards. Cowboys, 48 yards. Now, the Cowboys game, they ran the ball the whole entire game with James Cook. Let James Cook. Um, Chargers game, 29 yards, 26 yards, Patriots. And 87 yards for tonight versus the Dolphins. So, just a little side note there, man. Like, Stephon Diggs, you know, this Bill squad is dangerous. And they can win without having to utilize their best weapons. Which is kind of scary. Now, I think there is something to talk about with Miami. Miami, you're about to be in the playoffs. And the only chance Pittsburgh... Well, you're actually not going to play Pittsburgh, thankfully. I was going to say the only chance Pittsburgh has to win and actually get to the division around and break my heart and have to make me deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers again is the fact that they played you. But they don't play you. But I think this is really 
scary if you're Miami now because they really just have choked this second part of this season. Get destroyed by the Ravens. You had injuries. Okay, I'll give you that. Now you play the Chiefs, which the Chiefs alone are kind of an interesting team. You went ahead and you obviously lost today. You barely beat the Cowboys. You destroyed the Jets, but who doesn't? You lost to the Titans, and many times you had that game won, but you decided to choke away that game. You beat the Commanders. Well, who hasn't? You beat the Jets again. It's not really much accomplishment. You played a very close game with the Raiders. You lost to the Chiefs. You played a closer game than you showed up with the Patriots. Eagles, yeah, you lost to them. That's not a big deal. But, like, again, this is an interesting team. And one thing we have learned throughout the season is it is truly any given Sunday. Any team can go in and play on Sunday and win a game. Any team can go in and lose a game. It doesn't matter what your record is. It doesn't matter how good of a team you is. You are. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter anything. Nothing matters in the NFL anymore. We're now at a point where anyone can win no matter what. They play the Chiefs this upcoming weekend. Saturday, January 13th. And I'll be honest with you. I think the Chiefs, in all intents and purposes here, will beat them and blow them out. But I don't know. Because when I say that... I have this weird sneaking suspicion we're going to see a crazy, insane Miami Dolphins squad that actually plays great football. And I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this is the one year out of all the years in the playoffs where when they when you look at the playoff schedule, right, playoff teams, I don't know who is good and who is bad. I know the Ravens are good. I know the Ravens are the best team in the league. Other than that, for the AFC, I'm talking about not AFC, AFC. I don't know who is good. Because, like, the Bills are now number two seed. And that makes no sense. They had been absolutely trash this season. And then had a good run at the end. Number three seed is the Chiefs. And they're trash, too. And now you're, you're saying this because you're a Bengals fan. Your team's at home. <laughs> at least we made the playoffs. If you make the playoffs and lose in the first or second round and you don't do anything, you all you get is a worse draft pick, a participation award, and a slap on the back saying, Good job, champ. At least you made it. That's all you get. You don't win the Super Bowl. It's almost like getting to the Super Bowl but losing. Trust me. We have done it three times. We understand. My point is, right, is that number four seed is now the Texans. And I think they have a great chance to go win a Super Bowl. And I could see a world where they go win the Super Bowl. Which is crazy to say that because they have a rookie quarterback. Fifth seed is the Browns. They have one of the most dominant defenses of all time. But is that offense going to be able to sustain a playoff draw, playoff you know situation? I know Joe is the playoff king. But Joe hasn't played the playoffs since 2012, 2013. And the problem with the Browns is that fact that, you know, there's a reason why Joe Flacco was not signed on any NFL team before the Browns. So that's a question. And then who else we got? We got the Steelers who I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Like, they're just going to make it painful. Doesn't matter what they do, they're going to make it painful. And now you got the Dolphins. And I, I just, again, I just don't know how I feel about all this. Like, looking at all these teams, the Ravens are the best team in the league. They're like the clear cut. But the same thing happened back in 2019, Lamar Jackson's MVP year. They looked like the best team. I think they went 14-3 that year, too. They were unstoppable. No one could stop them. Run the ball, pass the ball. No one could stop it. They go against Tennessee after having a bye week, get the first seed, same concept. And then they lose. And if the Ravens lose in the divisional round again, I don't know who's going to win the Super Bowl. Because if it's not the Texans, if it, let's say the Texans do lose to the Browns in the playoffs, right? They lose in the uh, wild card. And they get knocked out. Pittsburgh, obviously, I think will get knocked out. That means you have left the Bills, probably the Chiefs, you have the Browns, and you have the who else did I say? You have to have one more team. Uh, Chiefs, fifth, sixth. 
wait, hang on. I said you have the the Ravens get knocked out. Oh no, no, mind. You get knocked out. In the, yeah, you get the Ravens get knocked out in divisional. That means the championship is going to be between the Bills and the Browns. And I don't know who's better there. It is a interesting season, and I saw someone on Twitter said this season could not end without the Bills getting a number two seed, and I think that's pretty much the perfect way to end it. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys next one.